passageways and stairs that link the floors between them. Cards are assembled with two technologies, surface wiring and wiring through the card. The components are placed into the holes and soldered into place. A stencil is used to apply soldering paste onto the card. This paste will solder the surface components. Here they place the stencil into the printing unit. It is through these holes that the soldering paste will run. The machine spreads the soldering paste which contains, among other elements, a tin lead alloy. The printing blades go into action. They spread the soldering paste on the stencil. This paste runs through the stencil holes and covers the metallic surfaces of the printed circuit board, which will establish the electric current. Here is the difference between an unprinted card and another printed one. The unprinted card surface is much more shiny. Now they're going to install the surface wiring elements. They are automatically positioned by this rapid placement machine. About 36,000 components are installed per hour, making it about 10 a second. This incredibly sophisticated machine is equipped with a viewing camera which verifies the alignment and dimensions of each part before installation. It unerringly positions the part at the exact spot. Another machine, slightly less precise than the previous one, installs parts where the space between two placement points is less than 0.5 millimeters. It can install 8,000 parts in 60 minutes. The card continues on its way toward the oven, which accomplishes an essential operation. Once the parts are secured, the card goes into a convection oven where the heat will solder the parts to the card. Different circuit connectors through the card are inserted into their respective holes. This operation requires great dexterity and is entirely done by hand. Then the metallic placement points need to be soldered to this card. The soldering of the circuit components through the card is done with a bath of molten tin lead alloy at a temperature of 240 degrees centigrade. Now everything is installed. They have to do an initial electrical test. The card is placed on a bed of electrified pegs these pegs make contact with the card's connecting points, allowing them to check for short circuits or open circuits in the card. And then a final test, a computer-aided operating test to see if the card is functioning perfectly. This company fabricates 200 models of different circuit boards and produces about 4,000 cards each week.